Hi everyone, so today I decided that um, I wanted to show my skincare routine. Um, you know, I'm really interested in um, what people do for their skin because I have acne prone skin. Um, I used to have severe acne when I was a teenager and I'm 23 now and I'm still struggling with it. It's um, not anywhere to where it was. Um, I had to go see a dermatologist and, you know, I was put on intense medication for my face. Um, since then it has calmed down, but I still do have acne scars. Um, if you have acne, um, you know that acne scars or maybe you don't know, but acne scars are harder to get rid of than the actual acne because, um, you know, of the damage that it's done to your skin and to the blood vessels underneath. Um, so that's what I struggle with the most, but I do still um, break out. So I just wanted to show um, what I do for my skin to kind of keep my breakouts under control and, um, you know, just to try and keep my acne at bay as best that I can. So, um, first I want to start with saying that, um, I swear by St. Ives. I absolutely love it. I get the blemish control formula. Um, and I just love it. I mean, it's only, I think it's like $4.97. Um, I don't know if it's different, um, in other countries, but in the U S it's only $4.97 at drugstores. And it's just amazing. It gives you, um, you know, intense exfoliation and that's kind of what I look for. I don't really like when things are very, um, mild on my skin because I really need a thorough cleanse on my skin. So I really love St. Ives, but recently, um, I've tried the Clinique acne system. Now Clinique has several three steps for skin. They have redness control, um, pore refining, um, you know, uh, steps that address um, very dry skin, combination skin, oily skin, and then they have an acne system. Now, um, I have used Clinique's skincare for quite some time. Um, I kind of took a break and started using St. Ives, but now I've gone back to Clinique skincare again. So I was doing their regular three-step, um, but now I've gone on to the acne solution. So it does come in a three-step, and I'll show you what I have. So first, um, sorry, it's a little wet because I use it in the shower, um, but this is the Clinique Cleansing Foam. Um, it does go on very gently. I know that I just said I like something that um, kind of gives me more exfoliation. I kind of wish maybe I was getting more exfoliation, but this does feel really nice on your skin. It feels very silky, very soft when you put it on. But it comes with um, salicylic, a um, sorry, salicylic acid, which most, you know, um, acne control products do come with because that's the main ingredient, um, you know, the main medicine in fighting acne. Um, the second step is the clarifying lotion. So I don't know if you can see at the bottom, but there's kind of like this white um, ring around the bottom. That's actually a powder that when you you shake it and then um, the powder leaves the bottom and it's dispersed through the entire bottle and you put it on um, a cotton ball and swipe it all over your face. The powder actually absorbs the oil in your skin and I have very oily skin so that's what I need. I don't have the um, third step which is the moisturizer. In this, in these two, it's salicylic acid. And then in the moisturizer, it's um, benzoyl peroxide. I think that's what it is. Um, I'm almost positive. But that's also medicated as well. I don't have that. I need to get another bottle of it. But in the meantime, um, I've been using the Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. If you have oily skin, you really should use the Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel, but I've had this, so this is what I've had to use for right now. Um, the gel kind of, this is like a thicker lotion, and I feel like the gel is a little bit thinner. Um, my problem is that throughout the day, because my skin is so oily, I can feel my foundation start to separate on my face, and my oiliness starts to come through, so I have to constantly, like... Um, keep prepping my face with powder to, um, you know, 
mat the oiliness. Um, the gel has really helped with that because it's controlling all the oil um, in my skin better than this can because this is meant for uh, combination and dry skin and the gel is meant for the oily skin. So also I want to show you the makeup that I use. Um, in the past and for years I was using um, Neutrogena Skin Clearing Makeup because it also comes with salicylic acid. I think it works wonders. The only problem with that is that I can never find a shade that matches me. Um, I'm very pale and the Neutrogena shades that I was using, even though I would use the fairest of the shades that they had, it would always look too pink on my skin. So I would have a line and you obviously don't want a line. You want your the skin on your face to match the skin on your neck and everywhere else so that you don't look odd. Um, so I could never find a shade that um, wasn't too pink and it wasn't too rosy. It just wasn't working for me. So I've experimented with so many different types of um, foundations and I finally found one that I'm really happy with which is the All May Smart Shade Collection. So this kind of comes in a three-step process. It's actually a four-step process. I think there's a primer, a foundation, a concealer, and then um, a powder. I use the primer, the liquid makeup or foundation as I call it, and then the powder. So this is the primer. It's the um, All May Smart Shade Primer and it comes with um, a purple and green swirl in it to it's like correcting. It's correcting your skin tone um, and it's perfecting it. So um, what these colors are doing is they're like keeping the redness out of your skin and um, I need that also for my skin because I have acne and I have redness in my skin from it. So I think that's really great. Um, and primer also helps to just keep your makeup on. It kind of just, you know, helps to like it's like creating like a, a smooth canvas, a canvas um, for your liquid makeup. So then I follow with um, the Smart Shade Liquid Makeup in light. Um, it comes in light, light medium, and then medium dark, I believe. Um, I just love it. When you put it on, um, it comes out white, and then... Um, as you buff it or smooth it into your skin, it matches your actual skin tone, um, which is great because I've never felt like this makeup was making me look too pink. It was matching um, my actual skin color, so I was really happy with that. Um, and it also comes with an SPF, which is great because, um, you know, it's very important to, um, you know, give your skin protection from the sun. Um, and you know the UV rays that can potentially damage it. Sorry, there was like a feather that just flew by me. Um, and also, um, I'll show you the makeup brush. This is the makeup brush that I use to apply it with. So what I'll do personally is um, squirt a little bit of the product on my hand and then take my brush and tap it into it and then buff it all over my face. Um, this is a Lancome um, 3 brush. I absolutely love it. And while we're talking about makeup brushes, it is so important to clean your makeup brushes. Not only to, you know, get all the gunk off of your brush, but to just promote healthy skin. Um, now I clean my brushes once a week, every week. Um, and, you know, you're just amazed at all of the makeup that comes out of your brush. And if you think about it, all of the oil, you're just loading that back onto your skin, which you don't want to do. It's going to cause your skin to break out. And that's definitely something that you want to stay away from. And I definitely want to stay away from because I have problems with breakouts. So then I follow with the Smart Shade Smart Balance um, Pressed Powder, also in the lightest shade. Um, I really like this. I think it gives me a very matte finish. It's um, very light, very fair, which is exactly what I need. Um, it does come with a little brush on the inside, but I feel like the brush, it's like, um, like a smaller fan brush here. I'll just show you. These are brand new because I just got them, so I haven't opened them yet. Um, so 
This is the brush it comes with. It's a small little fan brush, but I like something that poofs more, um, just so that I can dust it over my face better. If I need to get into like little crevices and stuff, like around my nose, um, and you know certain areas of my lips, then I'll use this. It's good for that. But I used um, this Lancome one brush. It's you know there's a big difference between the two brushes not just in size but in the actual style of the brush um, so I just like to dust this all over my face um, and I just really I just I just like using this brush better for pressed powders um, as opposed to the brush or the pad that you might get um, so what can I say you guys it's important to Cleanse your face, tone your face, moisturize your face every single day, two times a day. Um, clean your makeup brushes. And, you know, there are so many different makeups out there um, that provide different benefits for people who have various skin types. I do think that Neutrogena is amazing. I think that they have an incredible product and they really cater toward people who, you know, have sensitivity with their skin, who have breakouts like I do more than other brands might. The only problem with them is that finding foundations, I think that finding foundations for the fairer population is a lot more difficult. Um because there's a chance that you're going to get a foundation that's too pink and you kind of look ridiculous with it on. Um, and you don't want to be self-conscious about the makeup that you have on your face. Everyone is looking at you when they're talking to you. Um, so it's important to feel confident with, you know, when you walk out um, of your house and, you know, you're talking to people. Um, so I really love Alme. I think that they've made an incredible product with... Um, the smart shade I just love the way that it looks on my skin and it hasn't broken me out or caused any issues so um, it's been great so far if I find a new product that I think works even better then I'll be sure to let you guys know also I just want to put this out there water is your best friend um, it's great for the skin and I guarantee that if you cut back on soda and just don't drink it for one to two weeks and you just continuously drink water you will see an amazing difference in your skin I cannot stress that enough um, water is your best friend as is moisturizing so just make sure that you're keeping up with your skin every day you're doing you know things like cleaning your makeup brushes anything that you can do to promote healthy skin um, but these were just my tips, you guys. I hope that you got, um, you know, some ideas um, about products that you may want to try from this. I definitely think that the Clinique 3 Step is great. Um, oh, my God, I forgot to mention this. I'm also using the Clinique um, Even Better Clinical Dark Spot Corrector. This is a little bit of a splurge. Um, this is the one ounce bottle and I think it runs about $57. So it's kind of a lot. The 1.7 ounce bottle is $76. It definitely is a splurge, but the even better line I feel like is a little bit more expensive because it's really getting to the root of your problem. Um, I have acne scars and this is a product that caters towards acne scars um, and it's something that I really want to um, get rid of. It's something that I'm pretty, you know, self-conscious about and I want it to go away. So, um, I've only been trying it for about two weeks. Um, it's not like it's going to provide immediate results or it hasn't provided immediate results for me. But I feel like over time, if I'm keeping up with it, if I'm, you know, cleansing my skin every day and taking care of it, it's just going to um, make this product work more effectively. So, I mean, there are definitely other brands that make dark spot correctors that I'm sure are cheaper. I think Garnier makes one. Um, I do like Garnier's products. So I've never tried it, but it's not like um, you can't go into a drugstore and find a product that may work as well or even better than this. Um, I'm just trying it out because I'm happy with Clinique's products, so I just want to see how it's going to work out for me. Um, but yeah, guys, I just wanted to give you an idea of what I use. Um, skincare is very important to me, and I know that it's very important 
to people who suffer with acne or suffer with dryness, lines, pores, things like that. So I just wanted to give you an idea of what I do every day for my skin. Um, ah, sorry, my um, background just came up. Sorry about that, guys. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what I do every day for my skin and hopefully um, I gave you some tips that will be helpful for you. So, um, I know that I keep saying this, I think I'm going to come back with um, a perfume collection uh, video. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!